welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? How's everybody doing out there? More Slipknot, man. Y'all requested this. It's called No Life. Y'all said, yo, you got to do the lyrical version so you can know what the F my boy Corey is saying because he going to be rapping real fast. So I said, all right, I got you. So we about to check this out. Man, we can break down some lyrics and all that. So let's get it, yo. My freedom is best. Whole country's on hell's up. Rest, and everyone was a suspect. You can't feel the flow because you died. Face down on a suicide. The motherfuckers are self destructive. Nobody got no back. It's all fun. Save this. My rage is blood. Yo, my boy is so angry on this joint. And that's what you gotta love about Slipknot, man. It's just cause the it's just anger, man. It's just pure anger. And that shit just makes them so dope. Self-destruction, man. Back is all front, save this. Alright, let me take another name. Got it. Got it. Right. Oh, so my boy knows his history. He knows his history. He know about Chuck D. He mentioned the L Cool J. So clearly he done dipped and dabbled into some rap music. Which is dope, man, because you if you wanna be an artist, even if you just do metal, it's always good to know all types. You know what I mean? Even with my reaction channel, I do everything from slipknot to K-pop to CNCO to to and well to fucking Tyler the Creator, you know what I mean? It's good to explore all types of music. You just get, you just learn more. You just get experience, different experiences. So that is dope, man. Corey just got so many more points just from naming like Chuck D is a legend, L Cool J is a legend. But don't care Yo, and this chorus is sick, man. You know how many times I be feeling down and out, and I be thinking the same shit, like, what kind of life is this? How long am I supposed to be angry? How long am I supposed to struggle and be sad or be depressed? Like, how long? You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn, something needs to give already. So I feel him on this. I don't die. It's now I don't die. This is now I don't die. That part was crazy. That part was, that shit hit hard too. Man, that Slipknot just doing what they do, man. Angry, man. And they, they just relatable because people always want to be, especially nowadays. I understand 
you know what I mean? Being happy and positive is the way to go and all that. But people are so, like, even when you see on Instagram, it almost make you fucking sick because everybody's so happy and in love and this and that. And you know what I mean? Oh, everybody rich. Everybody got this. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you need somebody to be different and be like, nah, I'm fucking angry. I'm mad. I'm, you know what I mean? Sometimes you want some, some angry shit. Some, some, sorry to say, death and destruction in this bitch. You know what I mean? Sometimes nobody wants to see all that fucking happy bullshit all the fucking time. You know what I'm saying? So that's the, one of the reasons I feel like Slipknot is so amazing because they let people get in touch with their angry side without feeling like guilty about it, you know what I mean? It's okay to be, be angry sometimes, as long as you ain't walling out and hurting nobody and doing nothing too crazy, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, people get angry, people be happy, people be sad, people be stressed, depressed, people be angry, you know what I mean? But I don't know why it's always, everybody's like, oh, angry, and they run away from that. It's a, a feeling, just like happy. When it's happy, it's all on Instagram, hey. But when it's angry, it's keep it out, keep it away, don't post that. Fuck that. Slipknot stand up. NJG still approve. Drop a like. All my Slipknot fans, thank y'all well, uh, for coming by. Um, Madison Square Garden, I will be there. And we're going to have a good ass time. So with that being said, peace. Jeez.